Hi there, we have released Home Manage 2019. Today is uh, June 13, 2019. And um, this week we're going to put out a couple of videos showing the new features of version 2019. And one of the major new features is uh, what we call a bar scan, bar scan wizard. And we've had quite a few people ask for this. Uh, right now, you can, when you're adding an item, you can scan a UPC or EAN, which is mainly used in Europe, or a ISBN, which is mainly used for books. Uh, you can scan in one of those barcodes, and the program will look up that information on um, using our 125 million and counting uh, database. Uh, but that's just one by one, and obviously that could take a while if you're going to add, you know, 50 items by by UPC barcode. Um, so we've added a, a wizard, and it's located under the Tools menu. You select Tools, Barcode, Scan Wizard. You can also uh, press Control plus F6 on your keyboard. So when you bring it up, the first screen is just asking you for a list of barcodes. It wants a barcode on one on each line, and on the upper right here we have. Uh, the location so it's it's asking us where do we want to place these barcodes so let's just say these are going to be in the basement of 3126 Ledner Terrace residence uh, now how to get the barcodes in there well there's there's quite a few possibilities one is um, you can just scan them indirectly uh, another one is a lot of barcode scanners now uh, allow you to upload to, to go out and scan like uh, I think the limit's usually 100, maybe more, depending on uh, the barcode scanner. But you can go out and scan a bunch of barcodes and upload them to your PC in a form of a text file. So if you've done that, you can just browse for the text file you've uploaded, and it, they will be placed into this list. Uh, you can also paste them in from the clipboard. Um, but in this example, we're just going to have a simple example here. I'm going to scan in three items I found around the office. One of these is a some brother labels. So I'm just going to take my barcode scanner. Oops, did it twice. You can always, if you accidentally scan twice, you can always just uh, delete one of them. And the second item is going to be, um, it's like a coat rack, uh, it's like a metal ra uh, holder rack for your wall from Nystrom. Click on that one. And third item would be, be some old fashioned uh, fuses. So I'll scan those three items in. Uh, now that I've done that, I just click on the next button. It goes off and finds the three items. And it's going to tell you the one, uh, how many were found and not found. If any items were not found, it's going to list them here. And I can tell you what to do in that situation later on. So click Finish. And as you can see here, it automatically goes to the basement. And it's, gonna, it's showing you the three items that uh, the brother, the, um, the brother labels and the Nystrom, uh, I guess we call it a, well, a hook. Okay, it's called a hook. So as you can see, it uh, not only does it download the text information, it also um, gives you some notes sometimes. And it also, a lot of times you'll see uh, attachments or links to places where you can buy the item online. And of course, it downloads a picture. Sometimes it downloads more than one picture. So let's talk about the situation where the, our barcode database does not find the item. Uh, like I said, the, the database has 125 million items and counting every day, but it doesn't have everything. So let's give an example of that. I'll click on Tools, Barcode Scan Wizard again, and I'll just scan in an item. I know it's not there. Click Next. And in this situation, it lets out a sound. Hopefully that's not too annoying. And then it's going to show the barcode that's not found here. And the reason this is valuable is what you can do then is you can go to usually Amazon, Amazon.com, just copy and paste the barcode into um, uh, into there, and I'll show you how to do that. So I'll just bring up Amazon, and all you got to do in Amazon is um, you can scan an item in directly. And uh, uh, so let me give you an example of that. You could just paste the barcode that you couldn't find in there, or you could scan it in. So let me just scan a book, and it's going to give you the information for the book. And in that situation, so basically you have to, uh, you can click on the item and just manually copy and paste the information into a home manage at, by adding a new, a new item. So that's an overview of one of our new features in Home Manage 2019. You should be getting an email if you're a customer with upgrade information. And like I said, we'll, 
we'll um, create probably one more or maybe two more videos uh, describing a couple new features. We've also got an asset audit feature that would require a whole video. So thanks for watching. Take care and have a good night. Bye-bye.